Hi everyone, this is Maria and you are on my Flosstube channel. And today I am going to be filming the video about my hole for cross stitching. I personally love watching such videos on Flosstube, on um, Russian speaking YouTube, Ukrainian speaking YouTube. Uh, and I think this is a very cool way to know what is out there, like what else you would like to cross stitch. Like we don't have enough, right? <laughs> I mean, there's there are so many things, but I still like watching those. So I decided I would film one for you. So this haul is the first and only haul this year. I'm not very much into buying. I'm more pro economizing, I guess. But um, this one, I was um, thinking about it for a while. And then my husband decided to make me a present for our anniversary. So let's dive into it. At first... I just wanted to show you something like very, it's quite small, it's a little purchase I made on eBay, very very small, and with these little, little cute bears, it's by Stony Creek, and they're very cute charts with the bears. Let me just show you the beautiful preview they have here. Look at that. Like, isn't it cute? And I love how the back stitch here is um, all like little squares. It, I think it's very vintage and nostalgic looking, I would even say. I uh, specifically like this little bear and this one, like a gardening bear. But all of them are very cute. There is one that looks like a fisherman, there is one asleep, one in the cup. I love this bear in the cup. However, it has ribbons, and I don't know how to stitch with ribbons. It's very cute. They are not easy charts, by the way. They have a lot of flaws, like very, very long list of flaws that they're using for their charts. Let me try to show you. Look at this, for example. Look at this. It's huge. It's uh, even bigger I think than Dimensions Gold Collection or maybe the same. This one is for this chart. So yeah, I don't know when I'll be stitching it but I really like looking at it and just turning the pages. It's um, sort of inspirational for Second, me. Second um, book I got myself from eBay is this one, Beaded Cross Stitch Treasures, Designs from Mill Hill. And um, they this book has small projects like they have here but it also has beautiful samplers let me just show you so i actually put some bookmarks for the ones that i got really interested in and so this is the first one i'll use the book to cover the chart so this one is one of my favorites and my husband's favorite actually i think it's very beautiful it's graphic it doesn't look like anything else it's like acorn it's called i think acorn sampler very pretty very let's say even masculine right and then there is this one that is my favorite look at this i call it the fall sampler, but its actual name is Antique Borders. Very beautiful. Look at all the beads. I can only imagine. <laughs> I can only imagine how much it's gonna cost to actually stitch something like this one. This one is also cute. It's um, it's like the anniversary sampler, right? It's pretty. Very delicate, I would say. Yeah. So this is for the book and now let's dive into the the big hole of cross stitching kits so this first kit is by the russian brand it's, the brand is called oven which means aries like the horoscope sign aries and this is the um, a birth record i've been looking for a birth record for two years my daughter is almost two years now and i haven't found anything that i would really like but this one it actually caught my eye because it's very pretty it's delicate i like that it doesn't have like very 
traditional colors, for example, like bright pink for girl or um, pastel pink for girl or and blue for boy. I I don't actually follow these traditional color schemes. I like all different colors on my daughter. So <clears throat> this one is nice. It has like field flowers and a little hammock, which I can only imagine how fun it's going to be to backstitch this one. You see how much backstitch it has. Yeah, I have I do have questions to this hair. It looks a little bit weird, but anyway. Baby's hair also looks weird usually. This one is 24 by 23 centimeters, 13 colors, comes with a canvas, I think it's Ada 14. Okay, and then you cannot see much here. I think it's like cream colored Ada, and all the flaws are inside. Yeah. The pretty one. Sorry for any rustling that you hear, but I don't want to open them because I never open them until I actually start them. So the next two, I'm just going to show them together. I'm going to move the flowers back. Yeah, so these ones, they're from the same collection. They are stitched, they're by Riolis. They're stitched with uh, woolen, um, woolen acrylic thread. And this one is Pansies and this one is Marigolds. I love both flowers. They have such a... When I look at them, I always remember of where I come from, like in my country. I think they're growing in a lot of countries, but for me, obviously, like the um, the memories that I have with them is from my childhood. And I really like that they're stitched in wool. It's because it gives like um, a lot of volume to the crosses. Yeah, like and you can see here so there there is backstage and there is stage and the colors are just beautiful i for a long time i was actually thinking to change so it comes with this kind of linen looking ada yeah it's linen ada it's cute but for a long time i was actually thinking of changing it to um to the linen right or to the even weave and the, a little bit darker color so like raw linen just because i think the colors will pop so beautifully now i don't know <laughs> because i kind of uh, i grew to like this i think it's it has its charm it's kind of rustic looking and you see here they have the, these different but this ones i think they are bigger bigger kits so it's 20 by 20, it's not too big, and I let's see how many colors they are, if they say 17 colors. Yeah, Realis usually does use blends as well, and you can see a piece of uh, chart. This one is good, better than that. I have an almond blossom. So yeah, and this one is 15 colors, right, the same kind of fabric, and look at these colors. Is not it beautiful? Just pretty. Yeah. So maybe I'll start them in spring. We'll see. But they're very pretty. I like them. Okay. Next one is this one. Again by Oven, which means areas. This is called Misty Morning. 20 by 25 centimeters. Includes color chart, canvas. By Zweigart and then uh, DMC so good brands and then you can see the beautiful the beautiful scenery look at this it's just so pretty also reminds me of home of the rivers and there is a river in uh, my home city so my home uh, town is Kiev it's the capital of Ukraine and um, the river, the biggest river, there is uh, Dnipro. So certainly this one is, it would be like a small, smaller um, part of that river. Somewhere in the little valley, or maybe it's a lake. We have those too. Very pretty. When I look at it, it just feels very peaceful. And all these beautiful flowers. 
and you can see a lot of backstitch here as well in the background and then crosses in here it comes with white ada and you cannot see any colors because they hide them <laughs> they hide them there so yeah this is very pretty then the next one it's called spring is coming and um, not everyone to whom I've shown this kit understands it just because it doesn't look like it doesn't look like what we usually cross stitch right usually we choose more kind of green sceneries and then beautiful houses and it's either summer or it's just plain winter right with a lot of snow or something Christmassy or spring like um, I mean the spring where everything is already in bloom this however is that part of spring I would say in Canada it's March end of March maybe yeah maybe end of March start of April right when you still have snow when it's um it all is melting everything is melting the trees are standing bare and the the shrubs the bushes are standing bare and um you could almost actually you could almost think that it's full because there are some like brownie things brownie kind of trees in the background but no it's definitely spring and how i know that it's from the sky like you can see the sky is that specific spring color it has that spring quality where the air is transparent it's so cold and the sky is blue so i just like it i think i would enjoy stitching it around march i feel like for me personally march in canada it's uh the hardest month but i learned to love it <laughs> sort of right i've been living here for four years i learned to love um how the nature the nature's ways here in canada and i feel like i'm gonna be if i'm stitching it in march i'm gonna be enjoying it a lot just because it brings that it has that hopeful you know feeling that when you're expecting for spring to come and everything to bloom and all the nature to wake up yeah i like this this is 28 by 21 centimeters and it's um with um ada number 16 26 colors only and i have never tried this manufacturer before so we'll see how it goes and then as you can probably see i like my kind of sceneries look at this i don't even know if i have to say anything about it look how beautiful it is it's what i have outside of my window right now like literally this is exactly what i see or well, maybe the trees are not that yellow not just yet but it's it's this beautiful fall the lake there the birch trees and it's just beautiful and i like the detail on this like look at this tree this like crooked right because trees are not always perfect right i really love it it's very beautiful i haven't started stitching it this fall just because i have enough on my cross stitching plate so it's 40 by 25 this one is big it has a uh, number 16 ada and 35 colors like this it's white as well yeah when i look at it i always think of um alexander pushkin's poems pushkin is one of um, the most famous poets of um, russia right it's a russian poet and my dad used to um used to read his poems to me while he was taking me to school and to kindergarten so i he has beautiful poems about different aspects of life but about nature specifically especially about um fall i think this was his favorite this was the poet's favorite uh, time of year right so the way he wrote about it it's, it was beautiful and when i look at this i specifically remember all the poems that my dad was always telling me when he was taking me to school in kindergarten yeah this is very pretty i look at it and i feel like it's actually a painting you know and you look at it and it has that feel like the colors it's just like the shades and, and sun 
it's it's beautiful actually like breathtaking almost I cannot stop looking at this and the perspective like you can see the depth of this right you can see almost to the end of this beautiful park right a forest it's incredible so this next kit is called honey bear by dimensions and it's one of the reissued kits so the ones that were published a long time ago and they just reissued them again and i love it i think its color scheme is so beautiful and it's actually perfect for to cross stitch now just because the colors are reminding of fall right the beige and browns and warm undertone red right has this little jar of honey with the bee in it and the watering can and the bear with the bowl and it's just very very sweet i want to cross stitch this one and put it on my in my daughter's room it's very pretty it's not too big it's 35.5 by 23 centimeters and look at this this is so beautiful i love the color of ada i haven't stitched anything on such color yet and i love the colors of the thread yeah i feel like the perfect time to stitch this one is now when it's fall and you naturally like your eye is is leaning towards the these colors like more yeah maroon yellow orange brown so pretty very nostalgic design for me as well yeah honey bear very very pretty there's some very peculiar kind of uh, feel from dimensions cross stitching kits they have um, their own sort of magic you know to them mm, there is nothing like them i think it's just very very unique unique way of developing the chart right of developing the um the whole process it's just very pretty and now this one is i think like all-time favorite very very well known bestseller it's called the postman and what can i say it's really pretty and i know for a fact that a lot of um girls from russian speaking youtube are stitching it now and i have seen it multiple times on instagram as well so i'm not gonna start it now but it's um it's really beautiful look at this look this little carriage with a horse and then there's a little postman maybe i'll use my little so this little postman then there's that older lady here which is most probably the grandma of this girl and mom Right? they were going somewhere with their baskets and maybe they're just going to like a market and there's a little doggy here and look at the shadows and the flowers the green i love the color combination here like all this pink and and green and blue and kind of peachy colors they're just beautiful and let's see the colors pretty so they put the don't give to the kids until three years old. I concur. <laughs> yeah. Very pretty colors. Yeah, so that was my haul. That was my haul. And I'm so happy to have them. They are making my heart like warm and cozy. And I just love having them. It feels really nice. Let's put the bear to the back. Yeah. It's nice to have them in my stash. Kind of I'm not a hoarder in general. I don't enjoy having something just for the so for the sake of having something. I don't collect anything, I wouldn't say. But um possession of some things it does make me very happy. Like cross stitching kits for some reason, right? And um, yeah, so why not make yourself happy? <laughs>
uh, thank you very much for watching my videos and for supporting me and my channel um, have a very good day and very productive cross-stitching everyone bye